Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd do a review um, on these um, Kamisori um, 7 inch sword and cobalt scissors um, and these are barber shears, high quality barber shear, um, they weigh 70 grams which is really really light um they are made out of cobalt alloy which is why they are so light um and uh, with this um, sword style uh blades they're wide blades to have power for slicing so um they are going to work on a poodle and we've got a poodle here so i'm going to show you they are super super light absolutely silent almost silent um super sharp uh, they fit my i've got really really tiny hands so they fit really well even though i had to put rings in but i have to put rings in everything um and um just to show you really that you can use barber blades and poodle uh not any blade uh, not any hairdressing scissor the reason i like them is because of these uh quality um, in every aspect, not just the sharpness and the durability, how they hold the edge. Um, I haven't scissored poodles with barber shears because it took a lot of um, research looking to uh, blades that would work on a poodle. You can't just use any. This is a seven inch hairdressing scissor. As you can see, it's a completely different blade. So with this scissor, even though it's a very high quality steel and super sharp, um, it's not ideal to cut a poodle with because you haven't got the power in the blades to slice through. Even though they're sharp, you haven't got the weight. Um, these are slightly um, heavier than these but not by much, but it's the shape of the blade, which is a sword one, and with that raised edge to give it a bit more weight. So when your scissor closes, you've got the weight there to slice through that hair, whether this one, you'd be there all day. Uh, so not every uh, hairdressing scissor, but I have used hairdressing scissors, flats and thinners for setters for pretty much 10 years. Um, and I can tell you there that they do last and the last three years I've used dog scissors on a poodle and um, they just don't perform um, like the quality hairdressing scissor um, they need constant sharpening the dog scissors and the biggest issue I had being used to hairdressing scissors that even when I bought Dog scissors quality, I've got guides there for £180, which isn't a top of the range scissor, but it's a better one. Um, and the first thing that shocks me is they're not sharp. I just don't find them sharp enough. When you have the quality hairdressing scissor, you will see the difference in the sharpness and the crisp cut. Um, and obviously they are much, well, better made scissors, in my opinion, uh, some of them. There are some good dog scissors, but you are looking to spend several hundred. Um, and then um, rather than doing that, I chose the barber scissor um, because I know that this scissors is going to last me a lifetime and that it was well made, it's well balanced. Pu uh, sorry, I've got a puppy here. Come on then. Um, and uh, so that's why I chose that and it can perform and I'm going to show you. So... Um, and there we go, we're just going to stand the poodle up and uh, sit through it. Buddy, get off. Buddy, off. Buddy, off. off. Right, hang it up. Hurry, up. Good girl. So, I'm sorry if there's a bad light and you can't see. Now, I'm not very good because I'm self-taught and I'm still learning 
and nobody really showed me what to do so it's kind of a try she's my own dog so we kind of tried all sorts of things i don't know what trim i will want on her we are growing her out so um not but there we go See, they are cutting with ease. Um, I'm not very fast. They probably would uh, suit someone who can scissor really, really fast. I am not wasn't able to get there because none of the scissors fitted me well and I didn't like working with any scissors, especially not the long ones. So I found seven inch fits me just fine. because I've got more control over the blades. Good girl. So yeah, there we go. And also, um, she's not dry super, super well, but even the finish that they do leave where you cut, you probably can't see, because I can't see the video very well. The bits that are cut, the finish is so much better because you don't need to go over so many times. I just need to go from this side. Oh, damn it. Good girl. So yeah, um, that's me with uh, barber scissors and I don't think I'll ever go back to dog scissors uh, except the curves, which you have to, but I've also got a six and a half inch 30 tooth chunker coming on the way, which I ordered as a set with these. They also come in sorry sword. Um, they haven't arrived yet. And um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy that and do have a look at Barber Scissors. There are others out there available with this type of blade, um, different steel. Um, so um, any price bracket really, you'll be able to find something um, between £100, over £100. You're looking at the quality Barber Shear, but that's not a lot of money to spend on a quality scissor. Uh, this one was about three fifty, uh, and there are scissors in between um, that you can look at. Like the other one I considered was a uh, um, Passion Cobalt Raptor uh, seven-inch blade, which is about a uh, hundred pound less than these, but they are uh, uh, different one grade down of a cobalt shear. This one is ATS 314 cobalt, which is the top of the range cobalt shear. The only better steel than this there is, is a Damascus steel. Um, 
which I'm not ready for that kind of expensive scissor yet. Um, but the other one, the Passion Cobalt, is a VG10 steel. Um, so, but they're still going to be very good scissors. Um, and there's everything. And then you can get the Japanese 440C uh, steel, and that is going to be very nice, which is what these are. And they are still very light scissors. Um, they hold, I've had these for about three years. I use them on all the feet, um, for all the feet trimming and the eyes um, and anything that needs blending in because these blend in flawlessly and that these have been sharpened once. So that's what I mean. You know, you use them almost every day or every, every so often and they just keep going and going and going and that's because it's a quality scissor. Um, I don't get that from Doc Scissors. I haven't found that. Uh, I'll give them two standard poodles and with super thick coats and you cut them two or three times and the scissors have to go off uh, for service and sharpen and uh, it's really become a false economy. I don't use five, ten pound sharpeners. Uh, I do pick quality hairdressing, barber, shears, people who know um, quality steel uh, because I've had another pair of these uh, ruined by a dog sharpener so um, you will pay more for a more skilled sharpener who knows what they do in a bit more um, but it just becomes for a false economy if you have to keep resharpening scissors all the time and having them serviced because they're just not well made and my biggest problem was scissors don't fit me uh, and if the blade is too heavy this finger used to cramp up um, cheer from the weight and I've realised that all I can get on with super light scissors um, and I can't find them in a dog world. You're looking at 80, um, almost 90 to 100 gram for a quality dog scissors and this is 70 and it's a massive difference when you have to work with it. Um, so there you go guys, thanks for watching.